So you'll start by cutting a semicircle out of some gray material. I ended up using some gray flannel because it looked very similar to the wool that was used on the actual cloaks in the movie. In order to get the measurements for the cloak, you're going to measure from the back of your neck down to where you want the bottom of the cloak to be, and then add a foot. And then you're going to cut the semicircle with the radius of that measurement. Now this is actually easier to show on the small scale, so what you do is you fold a piece of material in half, and then you take whatever your measurement was, in this case we're just going to say 3 inches, and then you're just going to lay that along the side and make a cut. And then just swing it around to the side, and make a cut right at the top there, and then you're just going to cut that semicircle over to meet the first cut you made, making sure that your entire radius stays along your measurement the whole way around. Then just cut that out and open that up. And of course you'll actually be doing it on a larger scale of measurements in feet instead of inches. So then you need to make a neck hole, and the way you're going to do that is you're going to take something round, like a cereal bowl, and put it on the flat edge in the very center of your semicircle, and then just trace around the cereal bowl. Then just remove the bowl and cut out the circle. That's going to be the head hole. You'll just want to fold back the little triangles at the bottom. Just fold those over and pin them in place. So then you're going to measure around half the collar of your cloak. Then you're going to cut out two pieces of this shape. And the easiest way to do that is to cut out a rectangle, and then you're just going to cut it off at an angle so that this line is the same length as the half of the cloak's collar that you just measured and this line will be the height of your top of your head to your shoulder plus three inches. This line should be as long from the center of your forehead to trail down to about the middle of your back. And you're going to cut two of those. Then you're going to sew along the top line, the longest line, and the diagonal line. This line and this line you're going to leave open. And so here it is with the top line and the back line sewn together. And you just want to pull it right side out. So then the bottom line you're going to be sewing to the neck hole of the cloak. So lay the cloak out so the neck hole is flat. And then you're just going to take your hood and that bottom line, you're just going to center it so that the center of the hood is right on the center of the neck hole. And then you're just going to pin it to the cloak neck hole all the way around. And then you'll just sew all the way around that line. And so here's the hood once it's sewn on. And you still have those little triangles at the very edge of the collar. And so now you'll just cut those triangles off. And so for the closure of the cloak, the elf brooches are not actually strong enough to hold the cloak shut. So what you're going to use are these little clasps. And if you look closely in the movie, you can see them under the elf brooches. So you're just going to take one side of the clasp and sew it to one side of the hood right where the hood meets the cloak. Just like that. And then you'll sew the corresponding one to the other side, the loop, making sure it is far enough in that you can't see it sticking out from the edge of the cloak. So just sew that one on there. Just like that, and then you'll just put the hook through the loop, and that will hold your cloak shut. And then if you made the leaf brooch in the previous tutorial, you'll just open up the pin back, and pin that onto just one side of the cloak, close the pin, and then use the two loops to hook the cloak together. So here's what it looks like. As you can see it's actually the fasteners, not the leaf brooch that's holding the cloak shut. And then this is what the cloak looks like from the back view, and this is the cloak in motion. And you'll have to excuse my less than elvish clothing here. I was too lazy to change, so I guess I'm just the elf in bell bottoms. <laughs>